Here at Tormach, we want to help you use your tools to the fullest of their capabilities. So today, let's talk about the science of an end mill. There's a lot of uh, science and math behind making an end mill, an object that doesn't look inherently sharp, cut through materials like steel and titanium. Now, there are a variety of different end mills, flat, ball, drill, point, the list goes on. And they can each have different cutting geometries on top of all of that. End mills can also have a number of different coatings, which we covered in a previous video. Links in the description. So let's keep this simple. Today we're talking about a standard square nose end mill. How does this spinning tool turn your metal stock into such cool shapes? Each flute of the end mill is shearing off bits of metal with every pass. Think of each flute of the end mill as a knife, and it's sort of shaving away bits of metal. Understanding this concept will help you understand how to get better surface finishes. It'll also help you keep your sanity while choosing feeds and speeds. So when you're cutting, sometimes it pays to not baby your cutter. Determining feeds and speeds is all about balance between how fast your cutter is spinning and how fast you're pushing through the material. But why? At the microscopic level, as you're cutting, pieces of material will gather right at the tip of your cutter. Again, think of it as a knife shearing off the top of your material. The tip of the blade is a collection of that material. Occasionally a piece of that collected material will break loose and escape with the chip. But with bad feeds and speeds, they pass under the cutter and remain on the workpiece. More often than not, this is the culprit of bad surface finish. Because of friction, the shear angle, or the angle at which chips are being removed from your workpiece, remains low, which leads to more of these collected bits on the edge of your cutter, and a cruddy surface finish. With the right feeds and speeds, cutter geometry, coatings, and coolant combo for a given material, the shear angle will get higher, providing better finish and longer tool life. Now, there's a whole lot more physics and material science that goes into this, and I'm not even going to try to get into that, but here's some slow motion cutting footage just to make you feel better about it. Thanks for watching. Check out all of our latest videos here, and for more metalworking tips, tricks, and stories, subscribe to our YouTube channel.